Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be on overcoming isometrics. If you're not too sure what isometric is, then check out this video we've done previously on the three types of muscle contractions, and then come on back to this video, and we'll take you through the overcoming isometrics. Okay? So what an overcoming isometric is, is essentially you're pushing or pulling against an immovable object. By doing this, you're going to get tons and tons of muscle fiber recruitment, so it's a short, like, quick way to get a good workout in. Okay, and it can, it can carry over into other things, which I'll explain at the end of the video. So you can do this in a variety of ways. Today, we're just going to use a towel, so you don't need much equipment for this, and you can get a really good workout in. So I'm going to show you four exercises, two for the upper body and two for the lower body. So we're going to do a push and a pull for the upper body, and a push and a pull for the lower body. Okay, so we're going to get straight into it. So by stand, so what we're going to do for the, uh, for the front, we're going to use just the quads and your bum here. So you're going to stand onto the towel in a split squat position. Okay, so if you bend here, bend down, you're going to be pulling against the towel as hard as you can, and this is going to become your movable object. All right, so from here, squat down, get into a good position, and just drive away from the floor as hard as you can. Okay, so you want to be going max effort for this, and this is going to get all that muscle fiber recruitment. Okay, and this is going to be, it's very taxing. Okay, so that's the front. So for a pull, for the backside, you can go into, for example, a deadlift. So stand both feet into the towel. From here, get into your deadlift position. Make sure your hips are high so you're feeling this in the hamstrings. And again, pull away from the floor as hard as you can. Okay, so this is, again, loads and loads of tension down the backside. Only go around 10 or 20 seconds for this because they are max effort. Okay, so we're going to go upper body now. We're going to go for a push for the upper body. I would recommend putting the towel around you and pushing, pushing yourself away from the floor in a push-up position. This towel isn't big enough, so I'm going to show you an alternative for this one. So from here, come up against the wall. Get yourself into a strong position so you don't push yourself back. From here, you're going to push yourself into the wall as hard as you can. So find yourself a good position. From here, shoulders back, chest up. Drive into the wall as hard as you can. You're going to feel a ton of contraction across the front of your chest and shoulders. Okay, so that's, that's a push for the upper body. A pull for the upper body, you can sit on the floor and get yourself into a seated row position. So this is going to work all your back. From here, take a seat, hook it around your foot. If your towel is not too long, then you probably have to bend your knee up slightly and just resist a bit with your leg. So from here, get your shoulders nice, your el sorry, elbows nice and close to your body, retract the shoulder blades and pull back as hard as you can. Okay, again, only 10, 20 seconds, just go as hard effort as you can. And this is going to fill all down the back. Okay, so how a great way of implementing the overcoming isometrics to generate more power would be in contrast training. So contrast training, you either use, so something like this, overcoming isometrics, or something really heavy. So for example, if you want to, if you want to increase your vertical jump, you can utilize this into, a, uh, into an overcoming isometric. So from here, stand on the towel, you get into your squat position. So from here, pull away from the floor as hard as you can. This is going to get all that muscle, muscle uh, fiber recruitment. You're going to let go. So do your 10, 20 seconds, let go. Give yourself another 10, 20 seconds kind of rest. So all the muscles in your uh, legs are really activated now. So this should carry over into be able to jump higher. So this is going to help with your power generation. Okay, and then from here, once you've done that, I'm not going to go too high, but up. And just land it, okay? So this is a great way to try and use overcoming isometrics to uh, increase your power output. Give them a go, let me know what you think. Cheers guys.